Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Me is May. My name is Mia. If this is your first time here, welcome to the Lions Den. Today we are in my brother's bathroom because I am going to be playing with my hair. So I just took my passion twist out. <laughs> so now I am about to kind of play with my hair, experiment, do some things that I don't need to be doing. But you know what? It's my hair and I do what I want. This is really bad lighting and a really bad angle, but I'll show y'all what, ouch, what I'm working with. So this is my hair currently. Uh, the thing is, I want to be blonde, okay? I have like this brown, you can see this brown little band here between my natural and my blonde, and I don't like it. So I'm going to try a color remover to kind of get it out. My hair is really dirty and really nasty. I've had my passion twist in for over a month. Um, it was time, you know, I need a good wash. So I've been looking up a lot of videos on YouTube on how to remove permanent color because that brown won't lift and it won't come out we're gonna do what we can to get that out i'm really just gonna put it on all of my lightened hair <laughs> i don't know if that's the best idea but we're gonna figure this out okay let me show you guys everything that you will need and like i said i'm experimenting so i don't i don't know some baking soda dawn dish soap i already had some of this i hope it's enough but the shimmer lights shampoo and I have 20 volume developer. First, I'm gonna change my shirt because I don't wanna get this cute little thing ugly. Okay, I'm in a regular schmegular t-shirt. What I have to do is mix equal parts of everything into this bowl. So since I have one, two, three, four things, I need, I'm gonna do about four ounces, an ounce each. We're gonna eyeball it. So I'm gonna start with dish soap. I'm just gonna pour in a good amount of that. A good amount of developer. Y'all, my hair finna fall out. Won't be the first time. Okay, my mixing brush. I don't think I put enough baking soda. Now this is only part one. Tomorrow I'm gonna have to go to Cosmo Bra. This was an impulse decision. If I don't do things impulsively, it's not gonna happen. All right, let's get this party started. I don't know if I want to put it on my blonde. Ugh, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna stop before the blonde. Oh, it's like liquid, duh. I made a lot, so I shouldn't have any problems with saturation. I have so much new growth. It honestly looks like it is trying to lift it already. So I'm really just doing my mid shaft, and yeah, okay? okay. So it's getting on my blonde a little, but um, it's fine because I'm gonna be lifting my hair anyways, so. Wow, it's working already. You can really see it right there. Ooh. Okay, so this is where I'm at right now. I'm going to put a plastic cap on and come back in about 10 minutes or less. I don't know, I just don't have purple hair. Oh. So I'll be back in about 10 to 15 minutes with it all rinsed out, shampooed out, 
and everything i will be back to show you guys what we looking like okay Okay. Y'all, it worked. Put a little conditioner in so I can detangle it. For the most part, it really brought it up. So that's a good sign. See? Wow. Yay. Okay, I'm gonna detangle this. My hair almost feels too clean. So what I'm about to do is plait my hair and sit under my hooded dryer so that I'm not putting too much direct heat on my hair. And I'm going to let it dry that way at least 90 percent and i'm going to use the leftover and do it one more time i really think it's gonna work did brighten up my blonde as you can see these are good signs my hair doesn't feel damaged at all okay now that i look like miss seely i'm going to go sit under the dryer let this get pretty dry and put it on again trying not to get it on my blonde too much but if it happens it happens okay i'll be back oh i'm so happy <laughs> All right, we're processing for round two, and yeah, we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to set my phone for, I'm going to do 15 minutes, and then if it looks like it needs to go a little bit longer, then I'll add five minutes onto that. So I'm going to come back with my hair all washed and rinsed out, hopefully with some more positive results, and then yeah, I'll just see y'all when we get there. All right. I'm back. I'm just throwing in some Aussie three minute medical curls deep conditioner. I decided I think I'm gonna give my hair a break and let it deep condition overnight. It definitely worked. I'm happy. I'm just gonna finish it all tomorrow, but I am happy with the results so far. Hey guys. Oh, I look crazy. Okay, so you can really see where it lightened. So now I'm going to attempt to bleach my hair i'm gonna try to do this as best i can without getting it on the blonde okay part my hair in four sections so all of this from like here to here is gonna get lightened Today. So I'm using the Paul Mitchell dual purpose lightener and I'm gonna use a 20 volume This is also by Paul Mitchell. I have everything Paul Mitchell because I go there. Okay, but you don't have to use this I used to use like BW2 and uh, maybe quick blue when I bleach my hair at home So I'm gonna do two ounces then I'll do two ounces of developer actually I'm gonna go on and do four ounces because I have a lot of hair. Do four ounces of this 20 volume developer. I'm putting it like here, stopping at my blonde. Back here, I barely have any blonde. I really could have cut it off. There's no turning back now. Okay, so I'm getting really good results. Look at that. She's lit. 
Ding. Just gonna wait. You gotta babysit color. I mean, not color, lightener. So I'm gonna babysit it <laughs> and kind of wait and see. And then to kind of also go back through and make sure that it is fully saturated. And yeah. And the next time you see me, this will all be rinsed out and I'll be ready to tone. We're orange. <laughs> ah, I still have my curls. Yay. This is good. I have to bleach it again before I turn it. So step one is done. And I'm gonna lighten this again tonight. But I got some deep conditioner in it right now so that I can, you know, give it a break. And while I'm at school, it's gonna be doing its thing. But I'm gonna come back home and redo it. And it's gonna be blonde. But this is good results. Great results, okay? <laughs> hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> the hair is still a little wet. So because it is still wet, I'm going to blow it out. So I'm about to blow dry it and then do the same lightening process again, but only here. So on the orange part is what is about to get lightened for round two. Can't be out here like this. No oh, ma'am. So I'm about to put it back in the four sections and get my lightener going. First I gotta change my shirt, put another hair shirt on, so. Okay, we're looking good. My hair always feels pretty gross when I wash out bleach, of course. But now I'm about to tone it. I'm using my Wella, whatever this is, T18 toner. Two ounces of 20 volume developer. I'm gonna go rinse this out. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go rinse this out. I'm kind of nervous, but. Oh. <sighs> um, I think it can work. What I'm gonna do is this Olaplex hair treatment and then I'm gonna give my hair a break, okay? So my cousin actually gave me this. It's like the trial kit. You can see my hair's pretty, it's pretty shot. Um, it's still really warm at the root. It's all good. Oh, this smells good. My battery's about to die, but just know I am going to do this entire Olaplex hair repair treatment, and then I'm gonna come back probably in a few days and be do, ready to do the color. So just stay tuned, and I'll see y'all in the next clip. 
I look crazy. I didn't even try to style it today. But we are going to be changing the color. So stay tuned to see what I decide. 